Sure. Welcome everyone. This is the PACAC Virtual College Fair for all students sponsored by the Pennsylvania Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. PACAC is a nonprofit association comprised of more than 1200 school counselors, college admissions counselors, independent education consultants and other professionals responsible for guiding students through the important transition from high school to post-secondary options. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. How do you ask questions? Use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off. Panelists cannot see or hear you. This is one of just many different sessions happening through the rest of the week. So please be sure to check out the full schedule at pacac.org slash virtual. And the presentation is being recorded and will be available within roughly a week at that same website, pacac.org slash virtual. Uh, I'd like to now turn it over to our presenters from Wheaton College in Illinois, Angela Dalacati and Annie Mason. It's yours. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you so much. Welcome, we're so happy that you're here with us here at Wheaton College in Illinois, getting to hear about um, our school. So my name is Angela Delacote. I'm your specific admissions counselor here at Wheaton. I'm a 2018 grad of the school. I studied psychology, did a great program called Human Needs and Global Resources as well. So I'm gonna go share my screen, but for now I'll have Anna introduce herself as well. Hi everyone, my name is Anna Mason. I'm a current student at Wheaton. I'm a senior, so fingers crossed, I'll be graduating in the spring. Um, and I'm an international relations major. I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan originally. Okay, wonderful. So let's get started. So yeah, happy to have Anna here to provide a student perspective. As I said, I graduated in 2018, so I'm also happy to provide that perspective. So before we delve into who we are as an institution, um, I would like to start with the most important thing about us. So since our founding in 1860, Wheaton has been committed to our motto for Christ and his kingdom. So we're a distinctively Christian institution, which means that all of our faculty, our staff, and our students are committed Christians. So this is the most important thing you need to know about us. So everything at Wheaton from classes to residence halls to clubs and activities you're involved in will all have Christ at the center. And so when we say we believe in the integration of faith and learning, we mean that the opportunity to glorify God and to see him at work is present in every facet of life at Wheaton. Additionally, we are committed to reflecting the diversity of God's kingdom here on Wheaton's campus. So we believe inclusion, justice, and unity are central to the greatest commandments, as well as to our college's mission. And like I said earlier, our motto is for Christ and his kingdom, and we strive to live that out together in community. So I'm going to pause already and let Anna jump in and just share how she found Wheaton and what kind of um, prompted her to apply and choose Wheaton. Yeah, so I was looking at a bunch of different schools. Originally, didn't wasn't super interested in going to a Christian school, but ended up applying to some bigger state schools, some private schools far away, some Christian schools. And I think one, a couple of reasons is why I ended up applying to Wheaton and then deciding to go here is one of them being Wheaton's academic rigor. I knew that um, of all, like of all the Christian schools that I had seen or applied to that I was going to get the most robust education at Wheaton out of the other Christian schools. So that was a huge draw for me. Um, and I also visited campus my junior year and I didn't know what it was going to be like, had never gone on a college visit before and was kind of thinking like, I'm just going to be this junior that is tagging along and not really wanted for the rest of the day. Um, but I instead felt very much included in the Wheaton community um, and didn't feel like an outsider, but felt like people wanted me to be there, which is really unexpected. And I think the for those two reasons are why uh, are big into why I decided to apply and come here because um, I thought I would really enjoy spending four years with those people that I had hosted me. That's awesome. Thanks so much for sharing, Anna. 
So who else makes up this community? So Anna is an example of a current Wheaton student. I was a former Wheaton student. Um, in general, we have 2,400 undergraduate students on our campus. So let's take a look at the incoming freshman class of 2019. So as you can see, they come from 41 states in over 35 countries. Of students from the US, 30% are students of color. An additional 16% are students coming from outside of the US, whether that be as missionary kids, third culture kids, or international students. And furthermore, nearly 70% of our students come from outside of Illinois. This means that you are going to be living and learning alongside peers from all over the world. And choosing Wheaton means choosing the opportunity to grow and to learn from students who have a wide variety of backgrounds and life experiences. So it's through this student body that I made the lifelong friends I still have today. I also like to highlight how our retention rate is 95%. So this is the percentage of first year students who return for their second year. And it's an indication of student satisfaction. So does a student want to come back? And also can they afford to? It's a really big reason why Wheaton is known for strong Christian community, because the friends that you start college with, you also graduate with. I also want to share with you um, a few examples of Wheaton alumni so that you can catch a vision for who our students are. So meet Emily. She came to Wheaton from Appleton, Wisconsin, and chose Wheaton because we offered what she was looking for. So high caliber academics, Christ-centered community, and proximity to Chicago. All similar reasons to how I chose Wheaton, actually. And she double majored in math and physics. I meet Chloe from Detroit, Michigan. So she chose Wheaton because she loved the idea of receiving both an academically rigorous and a Christian education. And she really loved the people that she met when she came to visit campus. So students and professors alike. As a student, Chloe studied English literature with an ESL concentration. And finally meet Andrew from Hutchinson, Minnesota. Andrew majored in chemistry and minored in biblical and theological studies. He says, I wanted to major in the physical sciences, but wanted somewhere where I could also grow in my faith. Wheaton's reputation for strong academics from a Christian perspective made it an easy choice. So these are a few of our many alumni, and as you can see, they come from many places, but there are central themes as to why they chose Wheaton. So these students were looking for a deep faith community for academic challenge and a holistic education. So let me share with you a bit more about how we provide those things at Wheaton. So academics, we are the leading Christian liberal arts institution in the nation, and we offer a wide variety of majors through our College of Arts and Sciences, as well as through our Conservatory of Music. So we believe the liberal arts trains our students to think critically, to problem solve, to ask great questions, and to write and communicate effectively, all of the skills that employers are looking for these days. And the great thing about studying the liberal arts at a Christian college is that you get to put Christ at the center of what you're studying and allow your faith to inform your understanding of that discipline. So we believe in the integration of faith and learning, which is why our general education curriculum called Christ at the Core focuses on faith and vocation and how being a Christian impacts your study and vice versa. Okay, so what exactly is the classroom environment like? So I believe that our faculty are one of our greatest strengths. They're experts in their fields, but the great thing about our faculty is that they also love the mission of Wheaton. So our faculty invest in our students both inside and outside of the classroom, and I still view my professors as mentors and friends to this day. The faculty to student ratio is 10 to one, and our average class size is 20 students, meaning that you really do have the opportunity to get to know them. So professors hold office hours, they get meals in the dining hall with students and invite their students to their own homes for dinner and to get to know their families. So Anna, I'm gonna ask you to talk about um, just some of your favorite professors that we in or classes that you've taken as well. Maybe describe your major. <laughs> yeah, so I am an international relations major, which combines a lot of things, language, history, economics, politics. Um, but one of my like favorite examples of how shocking it was to have like Wheaton faculty invest in my life. I came from public school all the way through. Um, so the fact that the faculty that I was with in classes or outside of classes cared about me more than just my like academic standing and really asked me questions about like my faith and my relationships um, was really new to me. And a story about that is I went into my first advising meeting my freshman year with my advisor who's still my advisor today. Um, and I just needed to get a form signed and I was like, I'll get out of your hair. And he was like, wait, 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 like how was your first semester on campus been? And like, have you liked chapel? And are the girls on your floor nice? And I was like, what on earth? <laughs> was so taken aback by that. But I can say like the thing that in my mind sets Wheaton um, administration and faculty and staff apart is the fact that they truly care about you as like a holistic person, your academics, your walk with the Lord, your relationships, 
your mental health. <laughs> um, so yeah, that has been one of my experiences with faculty. Yeah, thanks so much for sharing, Anna. I could spend all day talking about how much I loved and appreciated my professors at Wheaton. Um, so also I wanna give you a picture of what the classroom environment is like academically. So you can see here the average academic profile of our accepted students. And so I don't show this to say this is what you need on your application or what you need in order to be admitted. We believe that your admissions process cannot be defined by a single number. Instead, I hope to help you picture yourself growing and being challenged intellectually by not only your professors, but also by your peers. So our students are academically prepared and excited to lean into a new level of rigor in college. Okay, there are endless ways to get involved at Wheaton. So I'd love to share more about student life on campus. So we have varsity level athletics. We are a division three school with 21 teams. So 60% of Wheaton students are involved in sports through varsity club or intramural teams. Additionally, we have over 100 student groups available to join. For example, our student center on campus houses the different offices for these groups. So we have the Office of Christian Outreach, uh, the International Student Programs Office, the Office of Multicultural Development, and the Student Activities Office. So when I was a student, I served in a weekly ESL tutoring ministry um, in the community. I interned at a human rights organization in Peru through the Office of Christian Outreach. I studied abroad also in Uruguay for six months. I worked at a youth center, was part of a local church community. Um, enjoyed on-campus Bible studies, both leading them and being a part of them, and gained really valuable experience as a research assistant through the psychology department. So lots and lots of ways to get involved. I'll also let Anna jump in and talk about what some of her highlights have been as a Wheaton student activities wise. Yeah, I've also done a bunch of random things. Um, I have been involved in intramural sports, playing ultimate frisbee and pickleball. I was also on a dance ministry for two years um, that focuses on dance as a form of worship in many different styles. And I loved my time doing that. Um, I also uh, served abroad with Greater Europe Mission in Cologne, Germany for a summer worked at Wheaton's camp um, called Honey Rock as a ninth grade counselor for a summer. And then also did, um, I, I hosted students and gave tours and also led small groups through that program that wasn't just leading tours, but also was a group of my closest community on campus was the people doing that with me. Yeah, so I've shared a lot of great ways to get involved and so has Anna and as you can see there's a lot happening on and off campus. So on a given Friday night there's likely 10 things to choose from to attend whether it's theater, musical performances, lectures, concerts, sporting events, ministry opportunities, and the list truly does go on. Additionally, residence life is a huge part of campus life. So most of our students live on campus for all four years and we really believe that living together in community is a crucial part of our growth. I also have to mention our incredible dining hall. So I personally really cared about having a great dining hall on campus since I knew I would be eating three meals a day over four years. And so we are consistently ranked at the top for our food and we have a locally sourced scratch kitchen that is full of constant variety. Chapel is also a life-giving rhythm at Wheaton. So we have chapel three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's a space for us to pray together, to read scripture and worship alongside one another. There are a variety of speakers that we bring in from all over the world. So some names that you might recognize like Tim Keller, John Perkins, Beth Moore, Gary Haugen from International Justice Mission, Lecrae, just to name a few. We also get to hear from faculty and staff as well as student groups. And there are many ways to pursue spiritual formation on campus. So chapel is just one of them. And we have a wide variety of small groups and Bible studies. And I found that staff and faculty are really eager to build mentoring relationships with students as we all strive to look more like Christ together. I'm gonna pause again, let Anna jump in and just talk about what spiritual formation, spiritual community has looked like on campus. I always describe my friendships as iron sharpens iron type of friendships. Would love to hear from Anna about that as well. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I think something that has been different that has marked my community at Wheaton versus other communities is in the small groups that I've been able to be a part of, I think they are mostly characterized as spaces of vulnerability, not just in being open with one another, but actually being willing to speak into each other's lives and speak truth and see transformation in really tough places. And I have been the recipient of that um, vulnerability from others that has allowed me to experience that transformation in places that I didn't think possible. Um, so that has been one of the most like, one of the most life giving parts of my college experience for sure. And then also I really, really love chapel. I think it's one of the things that I miss most this year, the fact that it's online and we aren't 
all able to gather together three times a week. Um, really missing that time of worship <laughs> um, together, but um, I really view it as like a mini Sabbath in the middle of a really crazy um, academic day of classes to be able to rest and refocus on what we are here for um, and be able to do that as a entire campus body is really, really special. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Anna, for getting to share about your Wheaton experience, especially with that. Um, as I know a lot of students interested in Wheaton really care about having a strong spiritual community and having spiritual friendships as well. And so we talked a lot about activities on campus. And so I'm going to switch around a little bit to talk about off campus. So Wheaton is located in the best of both worlds. So nestled in the suburbs near a wonderful downtown area with coffee shops, restaurants, and parks. However, the train runs right next to campus. And the incredible city of Chicago is just a 40-minute train ride away. And we really love being so close to Chicago for all the educational, volunteer, recreational, and vocational opportunities that it offers our community. There are also many ways that students at Wheaton go beyond our local area through study abroad opportunities, as I've shared, and so has Anna. So we offer both semester and summer study abroad options, um, domestic and international. Okay, we also love that our Center for Vocation and Career provides support and resources for students throughout their whole time at Wheaton. So during all four years of college, they provide direct assistance with resumes, with interviews, with job searching applications and connections. So our alumni network partnered with the CVC helps students to discern their vocational calling and to land the job that they want after graduation. And let me show you some statistics that speak to the student experience at Wheaton and how students are prepared for life after Wheaton. So our four year and six year graduation rates are exceptional compared to the national average, as you can see. Additionally, 99% of our students have landed in their desired next step. So job, grad school, military service within six months of graduation. And this stat alone speaks to the ways that our students are resourced and equipped for life after we end. Let's take a moment to hear um, what alumni say about Wheaton. So it's important for you to know as someone who is considering Wheaton, whether it will be a worthwhile investment and a choice that you look back upon and know is the right one. So I wanna share how some uh, alumni talk about their Wheaton experiences as well as where they're at now. So Leonard is currently a business coach at Salesforce and has this to say about how Wheaton prepared him for life after graduation. He says, I grew in confidence. I wouldn't be in this career at Salesforce had I never reached out to a 95 alum. This alum helped me see myself building a career in a top tech company and challenged me to never limit myself or settle. I like to highlight how we are ranked number 16 for best alumni network by Princeton Review. And Leonard gives a perfect example of what this practically means for Wheaton students. Okay, so Anna is currently completing her PhD in hydrology at Colorado School of Mines. When she thinks about her Wheaton experience, she says this, Wheaton prepared me with the scientific and writing skills to be successful in a science career, but also taught me how to integrate my faith to science and everyday life to make me an effective Christian. So what else makes Wheaton a worthwhile investment? So we believe choosing Wheaton is a great investment. And the good news is that we are not the only ones who are saying that. So US News and World Report puts us as a top tier liberal arts college. We are ranked number 58 on their list nationally. And there's not another distinctively Christian college even in the top 100. We're also consistently ranked as the best college for your money according to Money Magazine. And we are one of 44 schools nationwide to be considered a college that changes lives. So Wheaton sits at a really unique intersection between all of these different college rankings. So you can receive a top tier liberal arts education and you can do that within a distinctively Christian environment. There is no other college that can say those two things together. So we believe that what we have to offer is unique. I remember hearing all this and being a high school senior looking for colleges and just being really, really excited that I didn't have to settle. Um, academic or with a really strong spiritual community. Okay, so what exactly is the investment that you would be making? So here are the costs for the 2020 to 2021 year. We're looking at just under $50,000 for full tuition and room and board. I like to share where Wheaton stands in comparison to other schools that you may be considering or other schools that we're typically compared to. So when you take a look at Christian colleges in the US, we tend to fall in the middle range of tuition costs out of that group. And then if you take a look at the top liberal arts colleges in the US, we are actually on the lowest end of tuition costs out of that group. So I'm in no way trying to minimize the large investment that college is, but rather wanting to emphasize that we are making every effort to make this top tier education at Wheaton available at a lower cost than many other schools. And so how do we help you make this an accessible choice? So we want every student that we admit to have the ability to afford and invest in Wheaton and to have access to the leading Christian liberal arts education in the country. So our commitments to providing grants and scholarships are in need-based financial aid, as well as in selective academic merit scholarships. So each year we give over $30 million in grants and scholarships to students and families. 
So our presidential scholarships are our selective merit academic scholarships. Simply by applying to Wheaton, you will automatically be considered for these academic scholarships. So there's no separate application required. We also offer multicultural scholarships, music scholarships, and ROTC scholarships. These all require an additional step or application, which admissions counselors are always happy to help with. Okay, last words from alumni. So I want you to hear one more time from our alumni as they share how they grew Wheaton and why Wheaton was worth it for them and just how they've seen this call choice shape them in really powerful ways. So Isaiah says this, Wheaton challenged me to not settle with easy answers to life's pressing questions. I also have professors who are deeply involved in my life, both on an academic and personal level. Anna says this, I grew holistically at Wheaton. Beyond my academic and vocational growth, my spiritual habits were deepened. I became a more Christ-like friend and I gained a more meaningful relationship with Jesus that informs my day-to-day -day decisions and my long-term goals. And finally, Hannah, I learned so much about who I am, who God is, and how to live in right relationship with the world and with the people around me. Wheaton created me to be the person that I am today. Okay, we're so happy that you got to join us for this journey to Wheaton. Um, next steps are applying. So um, early action, October 15th and November 15th deadlines. Um, you hear back from us by Christmas for the November 15th deadline. For regular decision, we have January 15th and February 15th deadlines. So I invite you to keep in touch as questions come up. And I would like to end with Anna, just giving some pieces of advice for prospective students, maybe remembering where you were at as a senior in high school. Yes, <laughs> um, I do remember how stressful <laughs> this time of life was in applying for colleges. And I think something that um, that I I should have remembered more was what is the saying that don't let perfection be the enemy of good, like don't make be so focused on making something perfect that it's the enemy of doing something well or good. Um, and I think I would give that piece of advice of like, maybe your essays will never be perfect or the exactly the way that they, you want them to be, but odds are they're still gonna be pretty good. <laughs> so don't focus too much on being perfect and um, yeah, take it one day at a time. It's not fun, I know, but it will soon be over. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Anna. So we pray for you guys as an office. We're always available to Zoom, email, call as questions come up and to get you connected to current students like Anna, um, as well as professors in area and majors of interest. So please keep in touch. I see there's no questions in the chat, but our office is always happy to connect with you. So thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you very much for people from Wheaton. I have a, a few ending comments and we will be finished. Thank you everyone for joining us. There will be a quick survey that you can take, a very quick four question survey after we leave. Please sign up for more sessions if you choose. We're on through next week. Check out the schedules at www.pacac.org slash virtual. And a recording of this session will be available typically after about a week or so at that same website, www.pacac.org slash virtual. Uh, and once again, thank you to Angela and to Anna for this wonderful session. Everyone be well. Bye guys. <laughs>